she always has to be wearing a dress. I mean, even to bed, she wears a skirt or a dress and it has to spin. She's bubbly, she's funny, she's feisty. She is just a go-getter. And we now know why she is the way she is. Once upon a time, I was a young princess. The princess was the one and play and dance. The queen and the queen loved her very much. Then one day, the dragon came. The dragon scared the princess. Oh no. The dragon breathed fire and caused the water trouble. Then he put a bad pill on the princess. The king and queen went to send you to get help for the princess. Mabry was diagnosed for B cell, ALL leukemia, acute lymphoblastic leukemia. It's a cancer of the blood. It was probably the scariest thing I've ever heard. Nobody knows what's gonna happen when they find out their kid has cancer. I just remember being silent and just, of course I was holding Mabry and just squeezing her. I remember walking through the halls and seeing other families smiling and laughing and just thinking, okay, you know, it's gonna be us. This is, this is gonna be okay. With Mabry's leukemia, it's about two and a half to three year long treatment. So it's got three different phases. The first six to eight weeks are pretty heavy duty where they just hit it hard to make sure that, you know, they get, the, get your child in remission. When I think of St. Jude, the words that come to me are love, caring, hope. I do remember something my doctor stated to me. You know, she was telling me how it gets paid and that we won't be responsible for anything. And the doctor said, you know, we run a lot of baseline tests and the insurance companies will call us and say, we're not paying for this. And she'll say, we're not asking you to pay for this. They take all these extra steps to make sure your child is taken care of. This place is just, it will always be a part of me. Forever and ever, I will always be, you know, in gratitude for St. Jude. We've come leaps and bounds from when we first found out our diagnosis to where we are today. I know people say all the time that how strong you are, and but it's just something that you do. You don't realize how strong you are until you're put in that situation. You just feel like your child is a hero and there's nothing they can't do after this, especially as they get older and grow. You just know that they can be able to conquer anything. The doctors at St. Jude helped the princess with medicine and with love. They gave the princess power to fight the dragon. Go away. The princess made the dragon go back in the cave. Get back. And that made a royal family very happy. Thank you to helping the princess and her family live happily ever after.